432 Hz frequency has been found in geometrical arrangements in some of the ancient sites such as Stonehenge, Angkor Wat, and the Great Pyramids of Giza. This is the fundamental beat of the planet, the heartbeat of the Earth, known as the Schumann Resonance. The Schumann Resonance is named after physicist Winifred Otto Schumann, who documented it mathematically in 1952. The Schumann Resonance is a global electromagnetic resonance, which has its origin in electrical discharges of lightning within the cavity existing between Earth's surface and the ionosphere. This cavity resonates with electromagnetic waves in the extremely low frequencies of approximately 7.86 Hz to 8 Hz. For 32 Hz has been with us long before we could quantify it. Famous composers like Mozart and Verdi used it, and when taking a look at Eastern cultures we find that singing bowls used by Tibetan monks are also harmonic to the 432 Hz scale. The majority of instruments that we've uncovered from ancient sites, as well as ancient architecture from around the globe, were tuned to the Earth's vibration. Truth is, nobody really knows where the 432 Hz originated. It appears that the 432 Hz is sounding regardless of space and time, tuning in with many forms and aspects of life, and many cultures independently throughout human history. Four thirty two Hertz truly can be considered a harmonic of light. Sound in air may be defined as the transfer of periodic movements between adjacent colliding atoms or molecules. This sonic energy typically expands away from the site of collisions at the local speed of sound as a spherical or bubble shaped emanation, the surface of which is in a state of radial oscillation. At the point of origin of the sonic bubble, an electromagnetic bubble is created by the collisions between the air molecules because each collision creates friction that releases a small amount of infrared electromagnetism. That magnetism, like the sonic bubble, expands away from the source spherically and it is modulated by the sonic periodicies in much the same way that an amplitude modulated radio broadcast consists of an electromagnetic carrier that is modulated in amplitude by, say, a person's voice frequencies. Thus, the relationship between sound and light is real and very much part of the way that nature works. We cannot talk about the 432 Hz keynote without visualizing a 432 Hz modulated infrared light bubble. John Stewart Reed 432 squared is 186,624, which comes close to Einstein's calculation for the speed of light, 186,282 miles per second. Instruments such as the violin, flute, handpan or hang drum, piano, didgeridoo, Tibetan singing bowls, bird songs, cat purrs, as well as our own human voice can all generate tones which resonate to 432 Hz, the resonant frequency of the earth.